Welcome back everybody to Hayes Tech and ROM Reviews. Uh, I am Dave Hayes. Um, today we're going to go over AOS IP uh, for the Nexus 6 and this is Android version uh, Android version 8.1.0. Um, again, this was a, a, was a request video. You guys, if you have any videos that you want done, a review of certain ROMs, uh, just you know, drop me a note. Uh, it's best to go onto my Google Plus community um, and you know, uh, mention something there. Uh, if it is a ROM that I haven't reviewed in a while, uh, or if there have been some significant changes to it, uh, I have no problem with reviewing the ROM. Uh, just let me know. Um, I am running a popcorn kernel on this. Uh, I did flash this with the supplied kernel. Uh, as I always do, I just wanted to make sure you know everything's going to function properly, and it did. Uh, but I am testing Popcorn Kernel on uh, all the different uh, or all the various ROMs out there for the Nexus 6. Uh, I just want to see which ones are compatible, which ones aren't. Uh, as long as they have the Camcory trees, uh, at when they build the ROM, uh, this kernel should work with it. If they have the older uh, standard AOS uh, P type trees they're probably not going to work with it i know a lot of people have commented that uh, six rom um, it didn't work uh, and again those are frankie's trees um, they're not camcorys they're not going to work with this uh, with this kernel the kernel is more uh, geared towards uh, los based um, i know that yes aosp does work too again as long as uh, you're using the camcory trees so uh, we're going to we're going to go ahead and get into this we're going to go back uh, first off, I'm going to go ahead and go into display and change the display to a lighter color so it shows just a little better. Um, let me see. Let me find it here real quick. You have to go under display, scroll down until you see uh, background color or basically system screen or system screen, system theme. Uh, we're going to go background color. We're going to go ahead and go to light. Uh, and I'm also going to change uh, the accent color to the stock, basic, basically stock Android. And it takes a second. There we go. And I think that's about it. Um, well, since, we're, since we are in display, quickly I might as well go through it. Uh, again, there's really nothing here more uh, you know, than in the other ROMs. It's basically all the same as any other ROM that you have. Uh, so now we're going to go ahead and go into the Owl's Nest, which is basically uh, AOSIP's um, custom settings. All right, first up is going to be status bar. Uh, under that, you're going to have your battery percentage. Uh, you can pick where you want to throw that at. Uh, you do have your battery style. They give you uh, seven different choices uh, besides uh, not having anything which would be hidden. Uh, I am running with the square, but you can go with the big circle or, you know, the dotted circle or whatever you want. Um, and then, of course, you have the uh, show large icon, uh, which is really cool. I kind of like that because uh, right now, as you guys can see, it's a big circle. Now, I could choose between uh, square, circle, landscape, portrait, and I could go, um, I could go small or, or big. Uh, I had it set up for big. And I think I'm going to go ahead and keep it that keep it at that. I'm trying to get this so it shows the whole screen. Now well, we're going to keep it there. Uh, slide to the right brings up carrier label. If you want to run it, go ahead and click on there. Uh, I don't run carrier label; it just clutters up the uh, system too much. Uh, swipe to the right again brings up your clock settings. You do have your standard uh, settings um, alignment. They do give you the center clock alignment. Remember, guys, so from what I can tell. Uh, uh, from some of the posts I've read, the reason why the developers have been leaving uh, the center clock out is because they've been running into problems with it, um, basically uh, not showing certain things in the status bar. But this one does have it in. I haven't had any issues with it at all, so you know you can read about it. It's a little note on the bottom here. It says uh, center clock has been added, um, uh, but use it at your own discretion uh, as due to some changes in Oreo, uh, there will be some issues with center clock and ticker notification icon overflow. Basically things running over top of each other, uh, that's why. I'm glad they put it in there because a lot of the stuff I turn off anyways, I, I have my heads up turned off, I have notification ticker turned off, I don't use any of that. Um, you do have your date, date style, date format, uh, and all that. Uh, we're going to swipe to the right, 
It's going to bring up your icons. You have your status bar icons. Uh, you can pick and choose anything that you uh, want to show up in your status bar. Notice I have most of my stuff turned off. Um, chronic logo, if you want to run it, uh, you can disable it or run it uh, on the right or the left. If a ROM has a logo, I'm going to run it. Uh, and then, of course, show data disabled icon all the way at the bottom. Last but not least is your uh, traffic, your network traffic. If you want to show it, you know, incoming uh, data, outgoing data, uh, go ahead and click that on and uh, you can set that up as well. Next up is going to be your quick settings. Uh, this is going to be uh, setting up your drop down or, or your quick settings. As you can see, I have it set up for three and three. Uh, you have your show bright, or you have your brightness slider, and then your uh, your no QS when secured, basically on the lock screen. Uh, your quick pull down, which I have turned on, it's basically set up for the right side. There is no right left choice. It's just you use it or not, and if you do, it's on the right hand side. Uh, show brightness mode switch, uh, and then of course underneath that's going to be your animation tile. Uh, I have mine for rotate, and I have it on fast, and it's just set up automatically at linear. Uh, notice this has options for QS rows and columns uh, all the way at the bottom uh, count you know your columns count and that uh, can be changed um, or hidden uh, basically in these settings here if you go here and you click on uh, edit like that uh, this is where you can set all of that up okay and then if you go the, if you go over here uh, you can go columns columns landscape rows you know all that so that's how you would set that up um, it's basic, you know, pretty, uh, pretty uh, self-explanatory there. Uh, that's pretty much it for quick settings. We're going to go to notifications. Uh, these are your battery LED. If you want to set it up and set up your colors, this is where you do that up. And of course, heads up. If you want to run it, this is where you do it. Uh, I always turn heads up off. Um, I can't stand it. Uh, nothing I hate worse when than being in the middle of something and then them notifications popping up all the time. Um, I wish that would be a standard feature where you could just shut it off, um, you know, even if it's, I, I don't know, maybe they do have it, I can't find it, I don't know, but this ROM has it, I'm glad they do. Uh, under notifications, you have your notification shade tint, um, then of course your uh, app icon toast, uh, kill app button, show notification count, and notice I have all those shut off, I'm trying to keep everything clean up top as much as I can. Uh, smart notification sounds, then you have your notification sound of vibration if screen is on, uh, status bar notification ticker and then your ticker animation styles. Hardware and buttons are up next. You do have your power menu options. Uh, quite a few options there. This is basically for just a power menu uh, when the screen is on and then when you're on the lock screen. Uh, these are the additional features that you can have on or off uh, in your power menu. And the power menu looks like this. And under advanced reboot, those are your advanced reboot settings if you, of course, choose to have them on there. Uh, swipe to the right are all your volume controls uh, for setting up your volume if you guys are into that. Uh, I don't use my volume keys for anything but turning the phone up and down uh, for volume and that's it. Uh, recents tabs are up next for setting up your recents. Um, hidden amps, uh, recents background tint which I have, immersive recents, uh, I have mine on full screen uh, but those are the choices they give you. You have your clear all fab uh, and then, of course, your location. They do give you the six positions where you can put it, which are right, left, uh, bottom, right, bottom, left, you know, center, and center, left, center, right, center, right. Listen to me. I can't even talk. Uh, lock screen is up next. Uh, music ticker. Uh, you can set it up there if you want. And then, of course, uh, under various uh, lock screen shortcuts, you know, your background temp charging information, media cover art. I mean, it's all here. Um, I'm going to go with default on the clock. No, 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 no. I like the way that was before. We're going to go Sammy. Sammy. No, what did I have before? I had Sammy Bold. We're going to go with that. Uh, date style, alarm text, um, face auto unlock, and of course your music visualizer if you want to use that. Uh, gestures is up next. AOSP type gestures. Um, the three finger gestures. Swipe three fingers to do screenshot. Uh, they do have that there, which is really cool. And then, of course, your uh, status bar gestures are underneath that. Uh, advanced settings. Uh, you have your uh, vibration settings for your calls, you know, stuff like that. Um, you know, choose your activity blacklist, uh, music app, uh, where to play ringtones from, and, of course, your screenshot edit app. Uh, there's your suspend actions, if you guys mess with that at all. And, of course, your smart pixels are here. I don't use smart pixels. Um, I know it saves battery if you do, 
I don't care. My battery on this runs pretty decent. Uh, for as old as this device is, it's running with the original battery. I think it's doing uh, a heck of a good job. And that's pretty much it uh, for that. I thought they had uh, headers in here, but AOS IP does not come with headers. Um, I was thinking of a different ROM. I, I'm, I'm switching back and forth between uh, Screwed and Owl's Nest, uh, or listen to me, Owl's Nest, uh, AOS IP. And Screwed obviously has the headers in it, so that's what confused me on that. Uh, let's see, we're going to go ahead and hit sound uh, quickly, because I know I, I always go over display sound and that. Uh, this does come with a link ring uh, and notification volume, which I love because uh, I can unlink that. It comes automatically linked together, but I can unlink that. That way uh, I can still get my uh, calls in nice and loud, uh, but any notification I get, all I get is a vibration, uh, no sound. So I'm not bothering anybody in the room because I get a lot of messages. Uh, under advanced, uh, this is going to be where you can set up your advanced, uh, you know, your ringtones and plus what you want to hear uh, as far as, you know, touch sounds, you know, uh, all that. Uh, security, I wanted to show you guys, I am not encrypted. Um, I hear horror stories about people getting encrypted. As you can see, it says encrypt phone. Uh, I am not encrypted. Um, I do, however, flash the FED patch V8. Um, I recommend it. You can find it on the Nexus 6 thread. You can find it on the Nexus 9 thread, the Nexus 6, 6P thread. Uh, it, it works for any Nexus device. It, it works for some of the OnePlus devices. There are a couple other devices it works for. I highly recommend it. Um, I flash it on every ROM, regardless of whether the ROM or the developer says that this is uh, encryptable or, you know, it, whether it's non encrypting or encrypted. Uh, so I flash it anyways. It keeps me from getting encrypted most of the time. I'm not going to guarantee you guys that you're not going to get encrypted. Um, this, if you flash root, which I flash Magisk, you will get root manager in the, uh, in the settings. Uh, so you'll be able to go in there and check you know, uh, you know, and do all your stuff that you want to do with Magisk. The only thing I have installed is uh, BusyBox through Magisk. Uh, I could have installed it from the Play Store, but I, I like keeping everything with Magisk. All the modules seem to work and they flow smoothly, so that's why I do that. Uh, under System, uh, let's see, uh, of course I already went through About Phone, we'll go, we'll hit that again. Uh, AOS IP uh, 8.1.0, uh, this is the official Shamu build. Uh, and this was a 614 build, so it was just yesterday. Um, the maintainer is Cam Corey. Uh, again, uh, the, uh, the person who developed the trees that a lot of people are using. Um, so make sure you guys thank him for that, because if it wouldn't be for, uh, for this ROM, for that maintainer, we wouldn't have trees to have even other custom ROMs. Uh, that you know work with you know that <laughs> with popcorn kernel and other things I mean the, this ROM runs really really smooth so um, you know kudos to uh, Cam Corey for that uh, and the whole team at AOS IP if you click on the uh, AOS IP logo uh, it'll tell you about the ROM the community um, you know a telegram group if you want to join it uh, team illusion these are the people on the team uh, that do all the coding, that run the servers, that, you know, build, maintain uh, devices, all of that. Um, here's your security patch level. This is in June 5th uh, security patch. And again, guys, as you can see, I'm running Popcorn Kernel uh, V1.4. This is actually a version higher than that. Now, this was a test version he released last night uh, with some sound mods. Uh, I'm running it, um, testing it, because I have an original battery in my device. And um, the, uh, the developer wanted to know how uh, it, this kernel was acting with uh, devices with older batteries. This is a very good <laughs> representation of that. And so far, so good. Uh, I'm actually going to be doing a review video on Popcorn Kernel just to run through it, let you guys see what all the features are. So if you're interested in that, uh, be looking for it. It's coming very soon. Uh, actually, I may even do it right after I'm done with this one. So... Again, guys, this is AOSIP for the Nexus 6, Android version 8.1.0. This is the latest version of AOSIP Oreo for the Nexus 6. If you guys liked the video, give it a thumbs up. I want to thank all of my subscribers. You guys are all awesome, and I will see you on the next one.